opponent from Toronto, Canada, Gail Kim. So you're really torn here. I am a little torn. I am. Because you're on board with Veda Scott. Yeah, I love Veda Scott. And at the same time, historically, you've made it known that Gail Kim is your favorite knockout ever. She is. Gail Kim's my friend. She's my favorite knockout. She's awesome. I love her. But, uh, ah, I, you know, we shall see what uh, happens here. And Gail Kim, massive ovation for Gail here, obviously. Former knockouts champion. Well, as you would expect. Well, rightfully so. She's earned that. And there, uh, ringside there on the left. That's the chef. That's the chef with the glasses on there. That's Gail's husband, Robert Irvine. He's always talking to me about cooking advice. He asked me about living. Robert Irvine had the audacity right before this show to say, Taz, can you give me your recipe on eggs ben benedict, my mate? <laughs> Come on, <laughs> chef, are you serious? I gotta have to give my eggs benedict recipe. It's a blink. You kept calling him Bobby. <laughs> What's the deal with that? You guys are close, no, no, aren't you? Well, Bob, yeah, Bobby yeah. Irvine. Bobby him. Irvine. There he is. That's the man Bobby. right there. Yeah. Hey, Bobby. He's, he's a good dude. He's a good dude. Uh, I, I'm not giving him any cooking advice. I can assure you that. <laughs> Well, this is going to be a stiff, stern test for Veda Scott. Well, and wait, don't say that. How do you know that? Let's That's Gail not Kim. Right. Uh, arguably, look, she's oh, think, arguably the greatest knockout ever. I agree with that. But I think so. That's not going to be a stiff, stern test. But look at Veda. She, she's so excited that she's going to compete against Gail Kim. Look at her. She's, <laughs> it's like she's having this. Pal palms a little clammy. Do you see that? Oh yes! <laughs> really? <laughs> Sucking her in. Really? Yeah, I love this girl. Playing possum. That's Whoa. one hot possum, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah. So now, so, uh -oh. oh, wait a minute. Well, deal with that. That might not have been good that Vader did that. You know, Taz, in so many of these opening round matchups, where we see the established knockouts against the aspiring knockouts, we're going to see. Young ladies competing for the very first time. You've seen Beta Scott before. Yes, yes, yes. I've seen her in action before. Yes. I've seen Rebby before. Yes. But the majority we haven't seen. So what I would like you to do Ooh. is to comment as we see Gail fly out of the corner and get a two count. I'd like to maybe have you lend your expertise as someone who has uh, not only been a world heavyweight champion oh, yes. wrestler, yes, competitor for many, many years, oh, but trained many people. You, you you know, teach your own horn while you're at it. Well, no, I mean, you just say I was a champion. I mean, I, I've held, like, all different sorts of championships. So, look, Do your homework. You're a professor. So it's only a three-hour pay-per-view. <laughs> I don't have time to list them all here. So what is it you're looking for from me? What I'd like mean? some insight for once. Maybe oh. maybe tell everybody. And you can, you can do it, really, from A to Z. Tell me what you think of the character. Right. Tell me what you think of the look. Well, I know you're very opinionated when it comes to that. And then I, tell I, me, I, as the match progresses... Uh, what you think of the in-ring style, how they're adapting, whether they're ready for the big time. Also, tell us what you're looking for. First of all, if, if you come up for air, I can tell you something. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one. Look, we've got eight opening round <laughs> matches. I wanted to lay it out for everybody well, right up front. Veda Scott, you can see right there, she, earlier in the match, right before, the, as the match began, she did something very clever. She played possum. She suckered Gail in, which is not easy to do, being a veteran that Gail is. And then she brought, she's been bringing a fight to Gale. And Veda. Gonna stack up. Gale uh, look, almost got two. I think Gale, I think Veda's look, Veda Scott's look, her, uh, her athleticism, but definitely her look, her charisma. Uh, she, you know, she has it, as we call it. Check I mean, out. She, Roll up out of the corner for Gale in the near fall. No matter if she wins or loses this match, I believe, because I've seen Veda, Veda Scott. Oh, watch out. Uh, as I said in the past, and, and uh, she's got a certain, she's different. She's different. She's got that sexy look, the red hair, she got the glasses, the whole thing. It's kind of a unique look, and it works. No one's done that, as far as I can tell. And she's kind of got that crazy little, uh, she's like a wow. fan, like a, a schoolgirl fan type thing. Close line, follow pin with the leg hook for two and that's for Veda my, uh, Scott. You know, you, you, that's a good look right there. But, you know, you, you wanted my assessment because, you know, as you know, I've, you know, I've trained women, you know, ne ne never in wrestling. but <laughs> I've, Never in wrestling? Well, I've trained. Didn't even yeah. set you up for that line. Just went right to it in the opening match. We got eight opening round matches. Three minutes in. Oh. Head him off. Set up the line. No shot. Sometimes you swing a little early, you pull the ball. That's what happens. <laughs> That's what you did. <laughs> foul down the right field line. <laughs> Sailing down the fence. On the right field. Not even close to the foul pole. No, no. Just pulled it. So, anyways. There goes that. Oh, look at this. So, see, now, Fade Scott. 
Again, showing a mean streak. That's what you need to be successful. Gail King can respect that, even though Gail's on the other end of it. And I want to get your opinion, too. And it's not necessarily wins and losses in terms of your opinion. Now, as far as advancing to the gauntlet match and having the opportunity to win the crown and become the queen of the knockouts 2014, it is all about wins and losses. But in terms of what you might see from a competitor, don't let wins and losses get in the way of an opinion one way or the other, if you will. Uh, Thank you. Did you ask me a question? No, no I, really was, just said I was it. just laying out the ground rules for you. Oh, you yes. just pulled the ball. You just pulled it way foul, not even close to the foul pole. So then I wanted to bring it back around and have ground rules. Okay. Okay. Yep. So, Okie doke. I'm watching Gail struggling here a little bit against now, Veda now, Scott. Now, see, now that's the kind of insight we're looking for. Well, you're for. peppering me with questions. So now, look at that nice technique on that suplex. You know, she got well, good. Anybody quick knows hips. that? Well, well, I don't want to brag, but yeah, of course, <laughs> I'm the, my the best. Could you list yeah. all my championships? <laughs> so you know, I, I don't. Know. I, I I think that look, she's working this armbar here. Is is Vita Scott? She got the leg behind the head, a little, like an inverted version of a Jujika Tommy. That's a great submission hold right there. You can see that Gale is in a difficult position, and in terms of ring positioning for Vita Scott. Just about perfect right here. In the middle of the ring, gotta watch you don't get pinned. Yeah, that's, that's the issue right there. Vader, Shoulders down. Vader, I don't know what Veda's trying. If she's trying to go for like a roll up, you can't pin the girl if your legs under her shoulders. Veda, what are you doing? Oh, nice counter. Yeah, look at the way Gail's able to ah, turn around hey. with a single leg crab. Great job by Gail Kim. Great net net work right there by Gail. That's a veteran. And how about the way she sits back on the crab? With even more of the pressure on the lower back of Veda Scott. Veda able to use the free leg to gain that separation and break the submission of Gail Kim. But what about the pressure that these young ladies are under coming out here with the understanding and the realization that they've got to face someone and in every instance that's going to be more established than them, more experienced than them, and they have just that one opportunity to make a first impression. Yes, well, yes, of course, that's what uh, this is about. I mean, this is an opportunity here for one of these younger uh, aspiring knockouts to pull up, pull off the big upset and gain a victory, right? I mean, we've been talking about that from the beginning of the show. We have, but at the same time, I mean, wanted maybe just, just a little bit more insight, maybe take it just one step deeper than wins or losses. Now tell me as- well, Hold on, wait, 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 wait. What? what is deeper than winning or losing? I, look, I've established to get to the gauntlet, it's all about winning a match. But I don't want that to, oh. what? to cloud your opinion when it comes to these young ladies here, these aspiring knockouts. If you think that one of them, even if they win, may not be up to, to, to par, what you think of, then I want you to say it. I want you to come out of your shell, in other words. Oh, <laughs> nice missile drop kick off right, the top. Listen, right I'm there. out of the shell. I, I listen. I told you, I think Vader Scott is tremendous. I'm a big. I can't judge the other ladies, these other girls. I see them. I'm She's not asking you to judge anybody else. But I'm I'm starting to think that you're Veda Scott, but I'm saying don't let wins or losses cloud your opinion. Well, they're not clouding my opinion. I think it's a little I cloudy. told you earlier. Really. Listen foggy. to me. I said cloudy. to you earlier. I said it doesn't matter. Watch this. Watch this. Uh oh. Eight defeat. Caught Veda flush. Here's the follow. Here's the pin. And Gail moves on to the gauntlet. I think you're drinking what Marty Bell's Your drinking. Winner. I'll take two. Gail Kim. Well, Veda Scott put up a heck of a fight. Very good matchup. I think that young lady had a great show for herself. At the end of the day, the more experienced Gail Kim was able to capture the victory, eat the feet. And I'll tell you what, Veda Scott. Once those feet got in the mount, she couldn't do nothing about it. What? Yeah, Gail Kim moves on to the gauntlet, all in her hopes, her anticipation of becoming the queen again in 2014, just like she was in 2013. But in my opinion, maybe you can back this up, I was impressed by Veda Scott. I just told you I was.